Hello everybody and good morning. Yes, today I'm going to show you exactly how to travel in an EV. We're leaving Wyoming. Our first stop will be in Kansas. I'll show you exactly what you have to do to charge and take a road trip in your EV. So let's go. Here on the ranch, I leave the car plugged in when I need a charge. If I don't need a charge, I don't plug it in. I have a wall connector here, and I leave uh, connected. I did pre-warm the car, which you can do from your app, so you don't have to get into a cold car. There's no engine to run, there's no fuel to burn. I enable climate control. You go on the app and enable the climate on, and it warms up. All right, so you come out to your car, unplug it, and then uh, hang it back. The wall connector is outdoors. So it's waterproof, of course. I use it. Uh, there's also another one by the house, but uh, I plugged it in here by the shop. You roll it up when you're done, and it's ready for next time. All right, as you can see, uh, the Ranch Model X, it's pretty dang filthy, but I don't worry. It has paint protection film in it. I think we're good. Oh, it's nice in here. I warmed up the car prior to uh, coming on out. As you can see, it's a whopping 28 degrees. Whoops, there you go. It's a whopping 28 degrees this morning, so it's okay. Let's uh, go get it loaded up. We're packing up and heading back. Wow, look at that sunrise this morning. We're gonna get it loaded up here and uh, see if all the stuff we brought actually fits. Where I live here in Wyoming, you can say that it's pretty nice looking. Albeit 28 degrees. We're just leaving the place here in Wyoming and I reset and set up a trip meter for our destination here in Hayes. So far this trip, uh, we've been everywhere. We've driven 4,073 miles. Not bad. This time, no trailer. We're just going through the snowy range road here. I'm not sure uh, we're gonna see a whole lot. It's early. Car says it's 23 degrees Fahrenheit. It's definitely a shortcut to Laramie. Getting higher and higher here. I think we're about 8,500 feet. I'm in the shadow, so you can actually see something there. That's the backside of the big mountain that we normally look at. The snowy range got a lot of snow. That's probably why they call it the snowy range. Beautiful up here, uh, but roads are good. They uh, melt off pretty easy with the sun, and uh, it's pretty nice up here.
just on the other side of the snowy range now, heading to Laramie. I think we're going to stop and get a Scottish breakfast. We don't need to charge there. We're headed down to Loveland to charge. Rival percentage says 30%. That sure beats pulling a trailer. Part of driving an EV, you've got to uh, manage your energy just like you would a gas tank or something. Battery's showing 66% in it. And if we look over here at the navigation, by the way, as your friend, it's showing an arrival percentage of 31% to Loveland Supercharger. Uh, that's way plenty. That allows us to do whatever we want to get there. We have 91 more miles to go. So when you use your navigation, which you should use all the time in your EV, uh, the, at least a Tesla anyway, shows you the arrival percentage, which is very handy to have. We're here in Laramie, and we're going to do a pit stop at uh, McDonald's, get a little breakfast, I think. We just left McDonald's here at 62% in the battery. 1,000 feet, take exit 313 on the right toward 3rd Street. Always use your navigation and always check your arrival percentage here. It's 32%, we've got plenty. And there's nothing like a Scottish breakfast. Egg McMuffin. We're now on Highway 487 which is a uh, direct highway from Laramie to the interstate of 25, just north of Loveland. If uh, I didn't take 287, I'd have to drive all the way to Cheyenne and then south on 25. This is a nice uh, cutoff, uh, takes us off the interstate, real direct. We are just into Colorado now. Let's have a look around. If you watch my previous video about me fixing my flat, that's the front right one there. It's 47 pounds, like the back right. They vary a little depending upon the sun. Now the uh, arrival percentage, if you look at in it. 500 feet, your destination will be on the right. It's increased to 38%. That's normal. And uh, you want to look uh, at, see, of course, it matches the battery percentage. So it was a pretty good guesstimate. Of course, this is the 10 stall version 2 supercharger located in the parking lot of the Embassy Suites. I'm not sure people quite understand what the pull-in spot's for. I know there's nobody around, but anybody shows up with a trailer, it would certainly be nice if you could just pull in. Oh well. Here's our route today. Got five minutes to go on charge here in Loveland. We're going to stop in Lyman. And about 1.11 p.m. Our arrival percentage, as you can see, is 14%. And that'll probably uh, just get about 15 or 16 and we'll be ready to go. Next stop, Colby. Been there many times. And then uh, Hayes for the night. So it looks like uh, we're predicted about 5.19. That may change slightly. But if we follow the navigation and our charging schedule, we should be pretty much there. Here's a little visual where our next stop is. We're here and uh, we're heading down on 25. We'll do the bypass, which is a toll road around Denver, and then continue on 70 to Lyman here. It's right next to an Arby's. All right, we're showing 11% on arrival again, and uh, let's go. We're here on Interstate 25 South. Our turn's in 23 miles, taking the bypass around Denver. We just got on the bypass around Denver. Have a look here at our arrival percentage, showing now 19%. The battery is 56%. Uh, I think we're doing just fine. 
We're on Interstate 70 now, headed to the east, just leaving the Denver area. Let's have a look around here on Interstate 70. our turn here at the Arby's. There is a supercharger no turn left onto 6th Street. in the back. Version 3 here on the left. You ride with 15%. If you come to the Lyman Supercharger, Arby's is right next door. It's pretty good. There's a uh, gift shop, of course a gas station, and a store. We are charged enough to get to Colby. Let's have our stats here. 20% upon arrival, 144 miles. And we're leaving with uh, 74%. You'll see the uh, pink Cadillac up on a post. There it is there. The uh, charger's that big black box right next to it. Let's see if we go over here and get a little bit better view of things. We'll look around. That's the uh, 70s diner. Let's do an energy check. It's 52 in the battery. It is 69 degrees. And our arrival percentage is 21%. 87 miles to go. Let's have a look around here in Kansas, now that we're in Kansas. Just getting off here at Colby. Now take exit 53 on the right. Colby's uh, second to last charging stop. In 500 feet, turn right onto South Range Avenue. We make our way in uh, to the back here. Looks like we got one, two, a Model S, Model 3. We've arrived with 19%. And uh, we're waiting for the charger to get a ramp up here. There she comes. We're on 4B, and uh, 5A and B is to my left. I think we should be good. We're here in Colby, Kansas. Uh, it's a 10 stall, version two. Now look at that. My brother showed up in his Model X. Model S is there charging. Anyway, we're gonna get a charge, got 100 miles to go, and we're stopping in Hayes, Kansas. All right, we've got 25% on arrival. We're charged, let's go. Let's have a look around. We are east of Colby, Kansas. We're now about halfway to Hayes, 47%. The predicted arrival is 24%. We're getting there in a big hurry. 6.32 p.m. will arrive in Hayes, Kansas. Hey, looky there, no trailer on the back of this thing. We've arrived with 23% in the battery. We are now hooked up. This is a version two, it's 145, 150 kilowatts. Let's see what we got. That's okay. It'll come up a little bit. All right, let's have a look at our trips. Today is uh, 537 miles, 
we burned up 182 kilowatt hours of energy and an average of 338 watt hours per mile. It's not bad, I think uh, overall it was a good day. We averaged, uh, I don't know, probably 75 miles an hour. Uh, it was uh, 75 uh, miles an hour and we were five over, so it worked out fine. Tomorrow we'll be up early, we'll be headed to the east, and uh, don't miss it. Uh, as you uh, saw, I told you how I would drive an EV and how you can drive an EV, and this is exactly how you do it. You set your navigation, the car tells you where to stop and for how long, you monitor your arrival percentage, and as long as that's a positive number, you can be sure that you're going to get there if you drive a Tesla. I'm not sure about the other cars. I'm assuming their guessometer is probably pretty accurate, but I can't swear to that. If you like today's video, go ahead and click the like, and if you would, please subscribe. You know, I'd certainly appreciate it. We're going to be out bright and early tomorrow, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the morning.